Hi Kerr, thanks for coming to Capo to see us today. We've had some good news. You've agreed to sign and its paperwork is done and you've extended your loan until the end of the season. Uh, how does it feel to be staying at Capo until the end of the, the campaign? Yes, brilliant actually. It's, as soon as the manager said he wanted to keep me, it was something that I was like, wanting to get done. And obviously he's managed to sort that out with Dundee, so I'm delighted. You said the manager said to you he wanted to keep you. Was that a discussion you had about staying? Yeah, he said a few weeks ago he said he wanted to keep me. He was like, but just between me and you, just I want to keep you. And uh, obviously a few weeks later he spoke to me again and said that's it done. So it came up quite quick, quickly, but I was glad. And how are you feeling about that then? You must have wanted to stay because you've obviously agreed and you've probably spoke to Dundee about that as well. Yeah, as soon as he said it was something I wanted to do because I'm playing now every week and I'm loving it here. Like, obviously, Saturday apart then. Apart from that, the last few weeks have been good and that. It's been a good buzz about the place, so. You mentioned you're loving it here. Uh, you've seen me bought into the club. Yeah, not all the boys have been brilliant with me and even, like, yourself, the office staff and that is brilliant. Even the fans and stuff, I'm enjoying every minute of being here. You live local. Um, how have you found that? Yeah, it's it's good, it's a different stay on my own, or I'm with Connor, but we're enjoying it, it's good. Not too far from training as well, so it's quite easy. And do you see a lot of the supporters out and about, weekends and during the week and things? Um, I see supporters sometimes, yeah, it's good. I like, it's good banter, to be fair, when you see them, but it's not as good when you get a result like Saturday, but what can you do? Speaking about supporters, you would consider yourself a supporter, having spoken to you, you're a broth supporter, um, so you kind of identify with that then? Yeah, like obviously Morton's a big club, but it's not one of the biggest, it's like supporting like a small club outside like the big two in Glasgow, and it's just good because I know I, like, I can relate to them, like how passionate they are about the club and that, which is good, nothing better than the fans being passionate. You like that then, yeah? Yeah, I love that. That's what I'm like for both as well, so I can relate to that. You mentioned Saturday there, it was a, a disappointing result. Yeah, it wasn't. I wanted to, after the two good results, wanted to build on them, but it was a setback, maybe just a bit of complacency from us, to be honest with you. But there's a big game on Saturday, we can hopefully bounce back. Just speaking about the Aloha game, there was an incident involving yourself. You challenged the goalkeeper and the ball breaks, the ball McCune puts it in. I was looking back at the pictures and you don't seem happy in the pictures, so I um, imagine you don't think it was a foul on the goalkeeper. No, I, I don't think it was. At, well, at the time, I thought the goalie fouled me, but after speaking to a few of the boys and that, I think it probably was a foul, but you know, in the heat of the game, I just... So you do think it was a foul then? You've changed your mind since Saturday? Yeah, it probably was, to be fair, but... In terms of the match, it was decided by two penalty kicks. There was some controversy over the decisions. I just wonder what your perspective on the two penalty decisions was, Kev. Yeah, I think, personally, maybe the first one, it's unfortunate, but I think he, he has, Bucky has made contact, but it is, it's harsh. And then they've scored. And then the second one, I don't think it's a penalty. I think it started outside the box. Unless the boys were saying, I think the rule might have changed that it's where the contact ends so if it's in that case then it is a penalty but yeah so we don't really have much complaints over the two of them as you mentioned it's Air United away on Saturdays so we'll be looking to um, bounce back in that game yeah it's a big yeah, it's, it's a massive game but like after the Ross County game getting beat got to beat five up there and we came back on the Tuesday night beat Queen and South so we know we can do it like bounce back so hopefully the boys are up for it again yeah, United are a team you've faced already uh, twice this season, so you'll know the strengths, weaknesses, and sort of Lauren Shankland, for example, will be a, a goal-scoring threat for you. Yeah, he's probably up there with the best player in the league, and we just need to keep him under wraps. But it's not just him; the whole like they've got the whole squad's like good squad. Obviously, you can see that by them being top of the league. But we feel like we've got a game plan. We could go there and get three points, if not just one. For yourself now, you've committed to the end of the season. What's your aspirations now between um, this moment in time and the end of the season here at Morton? Keep playing every week. Keep putting in good performances. Hopefully the manager's happy, the fans are happy with me. And see where that takes me at the end of the season. How have you felt about your performances? 
feel like I've, I've done that bad, but I think there's more to come. I can do much better, I think. Excellent, Kerr. Thank you very much for your time and good luck for the rest of the season here at Capital. Thank you very much.